Hi everybody and welcome back to this week's video. What are we doing this week? We're off to the NEC in Birmingham. We're spending two days there and we're going to see a lot of brand new motorhomes, brand new caravans, camping equipment, it's loads of stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on too much but this is rather a long video um, because there was so much to see and if I went the full six days I probably would have just made my way around the whole lot and seen nearly every stall. But there was so much to see there, so much to do. I even do my usual stupid bit. Anyway, that's enough for me now. Watch the video and see what I do next. Right, so it's become a bit of a tradition for me to do something totally stupid when I go to these shows, events or anything. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be on my own because it's too busy for me to do now because I'm not gonna make myself look a bit of an idiot. I'm gonna be attempting Depends if it'll take my weight or not. Well, everybody, we are inside the main hall. And if you look around us, We've got some reprobate stood just there trying to hide away from the camera. <laughs> That's Bruce Law, did I? So, yeah. And, do you know, I don't know where to start here. Where to start first? It's huge. Absolutely massive. We're going to talk to some of the traders today. Definitely talk to some of the traders. See what they're selling, what's around. Definitely have a look inside some motorhomes. I know we build them, we don't buy them, but... We really, really, really need to have a look in some of these, side of these coach builds. And it's all about ideas, because you will get ideas from these things. Good morning. Welcome to the best YouTube channel out there. Right, so I've just found my perfect get around when we're at the shows and it's what I call a real bad boy bike. I was interested in one of these My Rider bikes, but I'm going to put a picture up now. And this bike is absolutely me all over. Um, it's got big chunky tyres, a proper comfy seat, and it does up to 45 miles on a single charge. Yeah, I'm not going to go 45 miles away from my van. It's mainly for shows, things like that. But the show's massive, it's getting really busy now. Um, we're going to be heading over to the beach here later where all the YouTubers are going to be getting together. So that's going to be a bit of fun. Oh, uh, look, we've bumped into Darren. <laughs> are you looking for your new van? <laughs> I'm looking at layouts, yeah, I'm looking at layouts. Definitely. So come on, when are you looking to buy? Uh, I'm looking to probably get one end of the year, beginning of next. Yeah. Is it yeah. straight to Europe or a little bit of a play around the UK first? I haven't got a plan. No plan? No plan. I remember you saying that in your video, no plan, just get in and go. Just go, see what happens. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing these, some uh, of these videos. Yeah, I can't wait. It's, it's going gonna to be, be good. It is going to be good. I mean, I could see the excitement I'm, in your face. I'm in no hurry, so I've got no no plan and no no timeline. So just take it as it is. And But I, when I say that, I mean, I, I plan for years. I'm planning on doing it for as long as I can sustain myself, really. And as long as you can breathe and walk and talk. Yeah, as long as I've got it. fuel in the tank and I've got chicken wings on the table, uh, that's all I want. Yeah, that's all I want. Wings. That's all I want. And so I don't want to be rich. So as long as I can sustain myself with a little bit End of income. The day, I think the, day, you know? the age and the day of being rich and having the house, this, that, it's gone out the window. Well, I mean, come on. If I, if I can do that and I'm earning enough to just cover my costs, I think I'm actually technically rich because I'm doing what I want. You know? Rich in life, not in cash. Yeah, there you go. And as I say, doing what you dream. Yeah, 100%. Not what you brought up, not what we're conditioned to do. <laughs> no. Grow up, 2.4 kids, car, house. Yep. Doing what we want to do. Just doing what I want to do, just traveling the world, finding places to eat, share it with everyone, and do some fishing along the way, 
take some photos and have a good time. That's the life. That's what we want. Don't dream it, do it. Everybody, I keep saying this, go and do it. Anyway, we're going to say goodbye to because we've got to shoot off. Take See you later, mate. Do you know, I'm starting to warm to these motorhomes. I've always been a self-build, create your own. But I'm really, really starting to warm, especially one like this. And the rebellions. Oh, my God. I fell in love with those rebellions. But I'm starting to like the Fiat's as well. Fiat's are starting to grow on me. When it comes to style of motorhomes and front ends, um, the Heimers look a lot like the front of these. Now I start to like these because if I could get an old Heimer, strip the guts out of it and completely redesign the interior and build it out myself, I'd like one of them. And they come in all sorts of sizes because I know that if I built one from scratch to strip out an old one, built it, I think we'd come up with really, really quite a good looking vehicle. You know, I'm starting to get sold on these motorhomes ideas. Built Norbert Campers getting sold on a coach built motorhome. See, one of the little touches I like are these curved doors. And I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and make some curved doors at one of the builds. I don't know which one, but we're going to try and put some curved doors on the cupboards because I know how to make them. This is the key. And that's what it's all about trying to make all these different ideas. Now, the only thing with this, it's got a very strange shaped bed. And yeah. I think I'd have an issue with that bed. But hey, that's just me. But these motorhomes are really, really nice. Very, very nice. I keep finding bikes that I like. And I found another perfect bike. So what do I buy? Which one do I get? Look at this. Right, this place is absolutely heaving right now. Um, it's hard to even walk around the show. There is that many people around. Just imagine the amount of money being spent at this show. It's probably going to scare you to death. Sometimes I'm going to go back to rebellion. I want to see just how busy they really are um, because I was pre-warned to get there early as they are that busy that you'd never able to even look at the vehicles. So we're going to pop back by a little bit later, see if we can, and just see how busy they really are. Oh dear, I think I've just found something I really like. I think I might actually fall in love with this vehicle. And it's huge, absolutely massive. So I want to try and get a proper look at this, but it's really busy. I'll do my best to get as much of this as possible. The front end of it looks amazing. I think I'm going to have to give this a miss for now. We're going to come back tomorrow morning to this because when I say there's a crowd waiting to look inside, look at that lot there. So we're letting them do their job. We're here to film, have a good look, and we'll come back first thing in the morning because we're getting a little bit earlier. We'll get a good look around that, see if we can chat to somebody and see if we can get a price. See how, just how much they're selling that one for. That'd be really interesting. people got these mans and I'll tell you something they're really really nice vehicles I uh, wouldn't mind converting one myself the price tag on this 90,000 looks very cool it is very cool the inside is really really nice um, given half a chance definitely would have one of these go anywhere vehicle definitely nice and a lot of people are again waiting to get in to see this as well 
it's a, it's a literally so amazing the amount of people that are looking more for off-road, off-grid vehicles than they are at motorhomes. And everybody's looking at motorhomes, don't get me wrong, but compared to the crowds that are walking around, anything that has that off-road, off-grid, and all-terrain look, um, they seem to be the busiest here. And let's face it, they are really bad boy. They have that real bad boy look. And I think that's why I've ended up doing my own sort of off-grid and sort of all-terrain look with Covey because it does have that look that appeals to a lot of people and it's got that sort of curb appeal almost. That's the only way I could describe it. I mean, I'm filming right in the middle of the Westphalia stand and you've got your VWs, the most popular, obviously the VWs. And they've got all sorts of vehicles and I'm literally stood in the middle of their stand and they are busy, extremely busy. I seem to find all the all-terrain vehicles well. This one is another one that I really, really, really like. And there is probably... Oh, look at that. It's even sold. Right. Okay, so we're over, over here on the beach with most of the YouTubers, or a lot of them. So, and you'll see a lot of them running around with press passes on. There's old Greg Virgo. <laughs> I'm back, Jay, sorry. No, 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 no. Yes, no yes. I've got, oh. I've got to ask you a question. Oh, God. <laughs> she loves me, really. Everyone does, they just don't know it yet. This is the problem. How many have you sold today? Come on. Oh, uh, two today. Two? Two. Yes, two today. I don't know if I should be building them. I should be selling them. <laughs> I'd make a lot more money. Well done. Thank you. I had to come back and get an update. Do you know, I've got to say this again. Start to like some of these coach-built vehicles. But as Zoe just pointed out to me, they're very much similar to the ones that we build, or the style, um, type of vehicle. Um, apart, again, I like the adventure style, off-grid, off-road, all-terrain vehicle. But also that huge one we saw earlier um, in fact, I'm going to try and go back and video it in a moment, but it was really busy. This hall now where we're in, I think everybody's come through here and disappeared onto the other halls, because this has gone a bit, a bit quiet, but it is the tail end of the day. So I'm going to go back there. If not, we're going to have try and get a interview, or try and get a good look at that vehicle in the morning. Whether we do it now in the morning, doesn't matter. We're going to get it on video, if it kills me. And as I always do stupid things at the show, um, there's something here that I can have a go at, hopefully. If not, I'll show you what it is anyway, but um, depends if it'll take my weight or not. As I thought, you've got people waiting to get in still. This is turning out to be a very, very, very popular vehicle today. Right, so as I said, I'm starting to really like these coach-built motorhomes. I shouldn't be saying it really, but I do. Um, it goes against everything I say that build them, don't buy them. But I totally get it. I totally get why people buy these vehicles. Um, I'm loving sitting in this one right now. Well, that's not quite big enough for me. This is quite a small one compared to what I'm used to. Um, but yeah, the finish 
is unbelievable. Um, so are the prices. This is the other thing with these. And it's completely, I mean, they're completely different to what we do. But again, if somebody wanted me to build one like this, I would. These, these are nice, very nice. Could get used to this, yes I could. But my ultimate goal is to find myself an old Heimer, something like that, because I like the shape of the front of the Heimers. Completely gut it and rebuild it. In my style, of course, as I always do. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. This is just day one, day one. We have another day to go. And I have a feeling this video is gonna be quite a long video. But I just wanna see, I, I don't put motorhomes down or the coach built down because they do look amazing and the finish on some of these are absolutely cracking uh, that big one that I'm trying to get myself into I've just managed to arrange to see them in the morning have an interview with them chat with them before the show starts because there's queues and queues and queues for people to go into that vehicle and I'm quite excited I love the feature on the side the actual fuel awning becomes part of the vehicle shape itself. It's amazing. Keep some things amazing, but you know, this is my first time at this show, so please forgive me. And I totally, it just, it's blown me away. Um, I love them. But yeah, this one, do you know I'm so, I'm quite comfortable. I'm very, very comfortable. But get a lot of ideas as well, which is amazing. Now I've taken up this vehicle long enough because I'm sure people want to get in there and have a look. And I'll be back to you soon. Right, we're here at Tel Air. Um, uh, just been chatting to the guys here about their air conditioners. Now, ah, oh, technology in these are unbelievable. And a lot of them are now powered. Obviously, you're going to have to power these by 240 volts. But they're running them. Or for generators. Now that one there is a diesel generator, which is ideal for a horse box. And they've got the smaller generator here, which is a petrol. And there's your air conditioning units just there. And they reckon this one here, the 8100, is ideal for an eight meter vehicle, which is my new bus. Now fitted, these come out about 1,950. I'd say the only downside to that is you do need to have 240 volts. Now, running them off of batteries, it's just not worth it. It's not going to work. So you would need to fit a generator in the vehicle for that. But that small little petrol generator there, apparently it's quieter than the diesel. It's a lot smaller and they're producing a five kilowatt version soon. Oh, look, they've taken the front off of it. Look at this. So, very silent, very quiet, really good. And this is inside the diesel one. Which is ideal for a horse box. Stick it underneath the vehicle. The way to get air conditioning in your van. So, if you're ever thinking about it, especially if you're going to be traveling to hot countries, going to be doing through Europe, go to places like Morocco, uh, North Africa, the Sahara, anywhere like that, you've got to get yourself one of these. Amazing bits of kit. Luckily, they're not far from me, so we'll be meeting these again. And the company is Teller. There it is, just there. Check them out. Get yourself an aircon. Great stuff. I've just found another one. And this one actually looks like a motorhome, or it's got the colour as well. Look at this. Just have a look.
I said, I found another one which I've fallen in love with. And so some of these finishes are amazing. I mean, the, the finish on this one, being given it that Overlander style, I mean, if you check out these seats, along with the telly above, this is what I would call your ultimate overlanding off-grid style motorhome. Um, the colour is absolutely spot on, it's perfect. Every little detail in this vehicle has been thought of and created amazingly. Right down to the graphics, the finish with the curtains. Yeah, I'm looking around now and it feels really, really comfortable. Um, I'll get some more shots outside. I'll get to the back of the vehicle, we're gonna have a look inside the back of it. Um, but there's another one behind it, so I'm gonna give you some shots of that one as well. But when I say they've thought of everything with these vehicles, they really have, and they've got some amazing finishes. So when they're building these motorhomes and these coach builds, they're really thinking of everything. So obviously when you take your motorhome somewhere and you wanna get about, you can't keep packing up your most home, driving off here, then everywhere. So even the garage spaces are big enough to put a scooter in. So, yeah, I'm quite surprised at how big these garage spaces are. Um, pleasantly surprised, to say the least. I mean, look at this one just here. Access to the garage from both sides, and you can go all the way through. And with this one, you've even got access through the inside of the vehicle to your garage space. Amazing, really. Oh, just don't get on here when you've had something to eat or drink. Right, I'm here with Miranda now. I've known them from the International Camp Band Show, we've spoken about vans, and I've just found out that she makes something totally unique. Now, everybody has gnomes in their garden, but well, she makes things called sock gnomes. I'm having one of these, because I think they're cute as anything. And I'm having it in the van, it's gotta be in the van. Look at this. So this is Miranda and her cute little gnome. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so come on, tell me a little bit how it come about, and why, oh, you know, please. This is really versatile. Oh, okay, come on. So this is parsnip. 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 He's parsnip. parsnip, and he has a slight Suffolk country accent. Okay. I can't always do very well. Um, so one he, 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 <laughs> one Christmas, sit around the dinner table, and I do silly voices sometimes, and this kind of came out, and then parsnip stuck. My poor mum. After a few drinks, by any chance? I only think I had one. <laughs> Bottle. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I have got a new job or a newish job at this point. I think I was in with the company. I work for Children's Services in Suffolk, and it was our Christmas do just before lockdown, 2019. And they thought I was this really quiet person. And anyway, I decided I'd dress up for the Christmas do. And so I dressed up as Parsnip the Gnome, but Parsnip the Gnome was then dressed up as a Christmas tree. Okie dokie. This is where everyone thinks I'm a bit nuts. Um, and then I was doing two jobs. The other job, so I was working at a youth club and um, Sue that I worked with, she said, oh, why don't you make gnomes? Hence, sock gnomes were born. And then during lockdown, I've probably made about 32. This is Mark 1. Actually, I think it's more. I think it might be closer to 40 something. I usually wow. make them for people for birthdays and Christmas. And I've just sold a gnome to some random woman on a stall. <laughs> in here somewhere because we would don't ask me how we were talking about it and i showed it to her and she was like oh, i love that and she's just given it given me 20 quid and she's going to give it to her son who's poorly so. sock gnomes they're amazing i think there they're as know. cool cool as anything right so what i'm going to say is if oh, you have their own facebook they have their own facebook page we've got to search this one out we've got to look for this and i'm definitely going to put the link in the description below also, if you want to buy a sock gnome or you want Miranda to make you a sock gnome, unique? Yeah, completely. I've got loads of different socks, or if you want to send me your socks and I'll make it into a gnome, I'll happily do that too. 
Oh, plain tell him. Socks, plain socks. Yeah, don't stand, don't send the smelly socks, please. I'll be the one that gets into trouble for this. Oh my God, these are so cute. Right, so you've heard it, you've seen it. If you want a sock gnome, you can contact me. I'll put the Facebook page link in the description below. But when you go to one of your shows, you're definitely going to see one of these in my van, I promise you. And if you want to have a look at it before you order one, come and have a look. Oh my God. Some of the things you find at shows like this are amazing. Totally unique and totally unexpected. As per usual, I'm about to do something really silly. And yeah, something very, very different today. Hope you get entertained by this. If you do, let me know. Um, please let me know what you think because I've never done this in my life before. Never even tried it, but I'm gonna give it a go. My biggest question, once I'm up there, what do I do and I have to come back down? Uh, I'll lose you. Okay, yep. so just let go then. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I do these stupid things? Oh man alive. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> oh wow. <laughs> this one. Up there. Oh, that one up there. Whew. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. So there you go. I'm well out of breath. Well out of touch. Well, I'm fit. So, that's something that I can tick off a bucket list. I've never ever done that before. So if you've got anything you want to try, and this is something that I would call a van life activity, climbing. Do you know what? I quite enjoyed that. And for somebody who's scared of heights, that's quite a feat for me. So yeah, I'm going to contact this company. They're quite local to where we are. I'll put the link in the description below. They're in Bedfordshire. Go and give them a go, give them a try out. Literally, they got all sorts there. Check out the website, check out what these guys do. They're amazing, absolutely amazing. So it's the rest of the show, here we come. Right, okay, like I said, we're gonna get somebody to talk to us about this vehicle. Absolutely gorgeous. And as you saw on yesterday's footage, this had a queue a mile long. People were waiting and waiting to go inside. Luckily, we get early access to the show so we can get early access to the vehicles before customers start coming in. We don't want to disturb these guys when they're selling them. Trust me. I'm going to put on you now with one question. Have you sold any of these at the show yet? We have, yeah. We sold uh, actually this vehicle on the first day. Wow. This is Mike. He's going to run through this vehicle. I'm going to keep my trap shut because I can talk too much sometimes and I'm just going to let him literally waffle on about the whole vehicle because I love this. Uh, like the little feature I said to you yesterday about the awning becoming part of the shape of the vehicle, things like, you know, I know nothing about this vehicle, but I love it already just by the look of it. Anyway, Mike, I'm going to leave this to you. If you could just tell us a little bit about the vehicle, um, the company and everything, please. Okay, so this is the Morello Palace, which is the uh, mid-range of the Morello. Uh, it's in the luxury part of the market. This vehicle, the base vehicle price is just over £200,000. Okay. Uh, and this vehicle, as it stands here, is uh, just over £300,000. Wow. And this sold yesterday? It sold on, on Tuesday. On Tuesday? And uh, Morello is uh, made in Germany. Okay. A lot of people think it's Italian because of the name, but it actually stands for Motorhome, Ryman and Loina, who are the two founders of the company. Right, okay. This is it's gorgeous. There's no two ways about it. it absolutely, it's got the look. What about inside and the size? 
uh, inside, so the uh, external dimension of the vehicle is 2.4 wide. Okay. Uh, it's three and a half meters tall, and this particular vehicle is 8.7 meters long. So it's, wow. it's a popular vehicle because it's not too long. It sort of hits almost the RV size style vehicle but without going up to RV length. Exactly, yeah. And this vehicle is one of the options, but on the specification we've got, you've got double glazed glass windows all around the vehicle. Double glazing. Wow, like I say, these things are houses on wheels. Any chance of looking inside? Of course, yeah. Let's go and have a look. Straight away walking into this, it's like walking, it's like walking into a house. This is the only way I can describe this. If I pan around to the front there, I mean, look at that. So Morello manufacture their own dashboards. Okay. Which brings you closer up to the front of the vehicle, so you get better vision and also gives you more space inside the vehicle uh, okay. uh, in, a, in a shorter length. I've just noticed something. I don't know if this is for the show, steering wheel. Yeah, so we, uh, it's an optional extra, but we have a removable steering wheel, which allows you to spin the driver's seat round and also uh, recline it back as far as you want to. That's amazing, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna sit down. So there's the steering wheel. And there's your steering column. That's amazing. I'm just, I've just sat down and I'm, I feel so, this is so comfortable. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And again, another feature which I like here, curved doors. It seems to be very popular. Yeah, it makes it feel more spacious inside the vehicle. Uh, with Morella walls, so we have underfloor heating where you actually have the, uh, the Aldi water element in the floor itself. Right, okay, yep. Nice spacious kitchen block with a, with a mineral worktop. Very nice. The lighting as well is very subtle, very, very warm. And that's literally what I can see right throughout. Yeah, so we've got the main lights on, but you can take these, turn these off, and then you just have the mood lighting going around the vehicle. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So now we've got the compressor fridge from Dometic, yeah. which works better in the hot temperatures. Uh, and because there's no gas on this side of the vehicle now, we have the uh, Panasonic uh, microwave combination oven. Very nice. Look at that for a size sink. You don't normally get a size sink that in a motorhome or camper vans these days. We go for little ones, don't we? So this is a full on size sink. It is, yeah. And also uh, for the ladies doing the hair, we have the mirrors pulling in so you can see all around. So they've catered to the women here, so they go through the women to get to the husbands to put their hand in the pocket. And shower? Yeah, really large shower. Um, with the Morellos, you have a glass shower door also. A ceramic toilet, which goes to a 250 litre toilet tank. Okay, and lastly, but not least, the most important part of the van, or motorhome, is the bed. And again, ever so big. That's amazing. It's a piece of art, this, this, this is how we describe it. And you've got your TV. So 27 inch TV in the bedroom and 14 inch TV in the living room. So 27 inch TV in there. And there's your nice 40 inch TV for the living area. This is absolutely amazing. They've, I think they've nailed the design with this. They've actually nailed this design and got every little detail perfect. Without a doubt. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Show's literally just opened and people are waiting to go in to have a look at that vehicle. Do you know, absolutely amazing. I thought I'd just take a little moment out here. Um, I'm outside the halls right now just to say that if you're looking for a motor home, you're looking for a caravan, you're looking for tents, outdoor activity stuff. They even do a few little bits and pieces to build your own camper van. Come to one of these shows. If you're building a camper van and you've never done it before, to get inspiration, come to one of these shows. Trust me, for the price of the tickets, is next to nothing just for the experience itself and the amount of information you can pick up. And again, talking to people, um, we've been in and out a few vehicles here, we've spoken to people and it's, there's an endless amount of knowledge with these people, even the coach builders, you know, and you've got all sorts of vehicles from, again, small ones up to these adventure vehicles. You saw the one we've just been around and had a chat with a guy 
the big sort of RV style looking one. It's like eight meters long that is, really nice. And I still can't believe the finish in there. It was like, almost like, it was pure luxury, pure luxury. And inspiration, there's a amount of inspiration, the amount of inspiration in this place for vehicles building. I say, we are self builders. And you know, this is why I come to these shows, to talk to these, you know, to find out a little bit more information to try and pass on to you. Now, coach builds still have similar sort of layouts. Um, so even if you're just looking for a layout style, you'll find it here. Anyway, get yourself along to one of these shows. You've missed this year's, today's the last day. Um, but there's all sorts of shows all over the country. This one is probably one of the biggest I've been to so far. We're going to crack on, get back into the halls. We're going over to Hall 5 now to have a look at the camping equipment. I think there's paddle boards, all sorts over there because we missed that one yesterday. Like I said, we couldn't get it all in one day. And we'll be back to you shortly. There you go, we're at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show. You can buy yourself a boat, you can buy yourself a jet ski. So, like I said, literally anything goes at these shows, it does. This VW is quite amazing. The layout is completely different to what I've seen before. It's got a full on toilet in the back here. And with the little sink. And this is the view from the front. So as far as lay layouts on VWs go, this is completely different to what you would normally see. And that was when we were at Camper Mart uh, the other weekend at Telford. Never seen nothing with a layout that looked like that. So 10 out of 10 for that one. That's a lot of usage for a very, very small space. Right, yes, it's my dulcet tones again. As you can see, the last day of the show and the place is heaving. Um, this show was completely sold out every single day and every one of the traders here that I've been talking to, especially the ones selling vans, they've all sold, um, sold numerous amounts of vehicles and had a good, good weekend. Or a good week, should I say, not just a weekend. Weekend for us, but a whole week for them. And they've done absolutely roaring trade. And it just shows you that this business is going from strength to strength. And I keep saying this, um, the staycation thing is huge now. Due to ongoing problems, problems we've had in the past, I'm not going to keep harping on about it, we all know what's been going on. Um, a lot of people now are preferring to buy motorhomes, caravans, camping gear, and staying at home. Let's face it, we have a beautiful country to tour around, visit, and we can do so much. The problem is we take advantage of the hot weather and disappear abroad all the time. So, if you're going to take a bit of advice from this video, Get yourself something like a camper van, motorhome, even a tent. Start touring around the UK because there's some beautiful spots. We will be going to some of them. When we start touring around, we'll be producing the videos and putting them out so everybody can see the places that we go. The door is open, I could walk right in. But it's so much harder than it sounds I know it's closing if I just stand still Cause you won't wait forever So just hear me out It is not like I don't want you Just scared to try Even if the odds are in my favor I just need more time So if you wait just a little bit longer I will treat you right Treat you right, yeah So as I say
Do you know what? My feet are absolutely killing me. I think I've walked miles around this show and it's time for a fuel stop. Yes, food stop. And I think if I was counting steps today, oh, and yesterday, I'd hate to think how many I've done. We know we've done about 50 steps up and down that wall earlier. That was funny. But the amount of products here, do you know, one day is definitely not enough for this show. If you're gonna go around looking properly, I'd say you would need three days, because we can seem to be scooting past a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get a bite to eat, something to drink, and then we'll get going again. Get a bit of energy inside us. But if you've managed to get this far, well done. It's a long video, I did say it was long. Um, it's a really interesting show. It was my first one I've been to ever. And will I be going back? Yes, of course I'll be going back. And I've got a few plans for the next show when we're going. So, and they are hopefully to do some lives when we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please let me know what you think and let me know if there's anything particular you liked and that you, when you, watching the video that you saw was it me climbing the wall probably not but i'll do some stupid things i really do anyway i'm afraid that's all i've got time for now and i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying well and most of all stay i'm really really happy bye for now